We're at the AME in Grand Rapids, Michigan. This is the Advanced Manufacturing Expo and features about 300 different exhibitors showcasing all different types of solutions for manufacturers in Western Michigan. I'm Dave Roth with NEF and we've actually got a booth inside where we're showcasing technologies for some of our key partners. And we're here to give you a little bit of a quick booth tour today. Let's go check it out. All right, here we have PIAP. PIAP sucks. They suck more than anybody else, which here is one of their strengths because they have a variety of different bellows available and a wide variety of cups, really make them extremely versatile for picking really any part for any different industry. They're worth a look. It wouldn't be an FX, but without an appearance from the great Chris Elston in Yamaha. Uh, Chris, think of it and walk us through what you got here today. Hey, Dave, thank you very much. So today what I brought is the add-on instruction uh, gurney, and uh, it's really tailored toward controls engineers and trying to show off how easy it is to teach points with your PLC using ladder logic. Hi, I'm Jake Carrick, Structural Products Manager here at NEP Automation, and this is our 8020 gurney. This represents a lightweight, cost-effective solution for mounting, fixturing, workstations, and any other kind of uh, operations and solutions that we can provide for our customers. Hello, Jason Hamilton with Balaf at the AME Show here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Wanted to present to you what we're um, having out here on the table from Balaf. We start over here with our Balaf power supply. You have IOLink Wireless right here, so you can do all of your IOLink communications through wireless technology, just hooking up power. We've got some of our, our masters here. All right, so here I'm with Adam from Loitza. He's gonna walk through some of their safety solutions that they have. We've got a wide variety of safety solutions, anywhere from your contact switches and your gate switches, and your single beam light curtains, all the way to your heavy duty light curtains here. Um, this is our ELC light curtain here. Good thing about this is, is you can see on the inside here, there's some LED blue lights on this side that show when it's in the line, a green light that shows you're good to go. If it's red, not good to go. Hi, I'm Mike Welch, I'm with Robotique. What we've brought here to demonstrate at the show is our PE20 palletizer, capable of palletizing product up to 20 kilograms. We've had several models in our line of palletizers uh, using the UR10, the UR20 and the UR30 robots so that we can palletize up to heights of 108 inches if necessary and payloads up to 60 pounds if necessary. And here we have Zebra, manufactured a wide variety of industrial barcode and vision systems. Here specifically, we're showing a camera that's doing some deep learning with AI, where we have a casting and we got a part number and an individual mold ID that we're verifying. This is pretty cool stuff. That's traditionally a pretty challenging application. All right, so next up we're there with Kawasaki, big, beautiful robot. Also here with Mr. Brian Sturzenberger, sales team leader for West Michigan. I mean, we're gonna talk a little bit about Kawasaki, really specifically about what differentiates them. When a customer chooses to work with Kawasaki, they get the benefit of a large global industrial robot manufacturer and the benefit of a local team that cares about the success of each individual project. We have Mac valves because because it would not be enough booth if we weren't showcasing and highlighting Mac valves. So here on the table, we're demonstrating our 92 series. This is the valve we use for a lot of applications. We stock it in all of our NEF offices. What I like about this valve is I can do a single base, a 25 pin discreetly wired base, Ethernet IP, Profinet, Modbus TCP, and now our latest IO link connector, both in a class A and a class B form. Ooh. So regardless of your connection preferences, we've got the most reliable valve on the market in all the popular wiring configurations. So I'm here with Andy Bogle, PhD, where we highlight all different types of pneumatic actuation. Andy, tell us what you got for us today. Absolutely. Well, for those of you that are not familiar, we're PhD manufacturing, been in business over 60 years. We have a wide variety of mostly pneumatic, some hydraulic, and increasingly electromechanical actuators. Hi, I'm Dan Kelly. I'm an area sales manager here with Mir Mobile Industrial Robots. What we brought with us here today are two of our robots uh, from our portfolio, our Mir 250 and our Mir 600. Our nomenclature for our robots are around the uh, kilogram payload that they carry. So our Mir 250 is a 250 kilogram robot, so about 500 pounds. Our 600 is about 1,200 pounds. So we're interacting today with carts, pretty common uh, application for us, where we actually get up underneath a cart pin to it uh, and tow that cart around. It actually allows us to carry more payload in, in our robots than we can if we're just carrying a payload on top. 
that about wraps it up for AME 2024. Thanks so much for joining us on our booth tour. We showcase just a few of the many solutions that we have for manufacturers really looking to enhance their competitiveness. Reach out to Neff and our team of automation professionals to see how we can work collaboratively with you on your next automation projects to help them be successful. Thanks so much for watching.